Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the Mike from Maine show. This is Mike Thomas. Today, I'll be doing a, an income report. And normally, as you probably have seen before, uh, with all my other income reports, I've done them as text. Uh, I figure with all the video that I do and the fact that I'm fine with getting in front of the camera and, and talking a little bit, why not do a video version and perhaps give you more of an insight into my business? Uh, today, what I'll be doing is talking about the different figures that I have on my report, also showing you the actual examples uh, in the back end of my different affiliate areas and where I sell my different products, uh, give you a look at those numbers as well. I thought it might be a change up. If you like this, I'll, I'll keep on doing it like this. If you prefer the text version, uh, let me know either way in the comments below on MikeFromMain.com. Let's take a look. So we see here that uh, as far as page views go for December, I got 19,270 page views. And if we take a look over here into Google Analytics, we can see that uh, the numbers uh, for the month pretty steady along the way, uh, having about, let's see here, 280 visits, uh, 270 up here was 624 and even up to 1,000. Uh, these visitors right here were from when I was doing some solo ad uh, buys, so that was from advertising that I had coming in. So normally, uh, on average, we've got about uh, 200 to 300 people coming to the site every day. Uh, you can also see here that the unique visitors for the month were 6,525, and that most of the people coming in are from the US, uh, speaking English, and then we've got most uh, after that people from the UK. Uh, returning visitors uh, were about half and new visitors were about half as well. So that's for that part. Let's look down here. YouTube channel views. Now this gives me an idea of how many people are actually watching the show. I know some people just come to the site and want to find out which product uh, we're talking about that day, and that's fine as well if they just want to go to the sales page for that. But uh, this gives me an idea of who is uh, or how many people are actually watching the show. So we can see here that uh, we've got 3,000 more views from November, so that's a good sign that it's increasing. Right here uh, in the analytics section on YouTube, if you go to your YouTube account, you can look exactly at the, at the analytics there. And I can see that uh, 88,000 minutes were watched this month with 11,000 views and as far as engagement goes, 39 likes, one person disliked, uh, some comments, shares, favorites, etc. What I'm mostly interested in is the views and the estimated minutes watched. So, And we can also see that here, that's up 23,000 uh, up from November. So that's also a good sign. Aweber subscribers. We can look right in here at my Aweber subscribers. Uh, we can see here that currently, uh, I'm recording this a little bit after, I've got 4,000, uh, actually 4,203 as of recording this. When I put this in here, it was, uh, actually, sorry, that was, here's the number, 4,778 is the full number on my account that I measure it by. Um, I guess that's gone up. So I've, I've actually increased my Aweber subscribers since November by 133. Get response. That's another autoresponder account that I use right here. And from the last thing that I sent out, it was 3,708. It's actually higher than that. This was a second send. So it's around 3,815. I brought that up this month by over 1,000 subscribers. Um, by doing solo ad buys. So I was able to buy advertising to uh, from another person's email list to send to my squeeze page where people would put in their email address and they would be added to my list. You might be one of those people that came on that way, who knows. Um, so the my total email list subscriber count right now is approximately 8,595 subscribers. Of course, not all those people come to my site all the time. Some people get on the list and they only open once in a while. Some people unsubscribe. Uh, it's, it's always a, uh, a crazy game with the, the email 
uh, list building and, and subscribers. But approximately that's how many people I have on my list right now. Expenses. Libsyn is a service that lets me do uh, a podcast. Now I've decided this month that I will not be doing a podcast anymore. The reason why is because I want to focus all my efforts on YouTube. And it's just, some people might say that's the wrong decision, but it's just a decision I've made for myself because I don't want people, some people on listening on YouTube or on, on iTunes, some people on YouTube, I want people coming to the website and uh, actually watching the content on mikeformain.com. That's my goal. Um, another person asked me, aren't you afraid people are just going to watch on YouTube? If people want to watch on YouTube, they can. But if I think the better viewing experience is on uh, the website. But that's my goal there. AWeber expenses. $69. So that's how much I paid for my AWeber account. That was my auto subscriber account that lets me build my email list. A Git response, that's my second autoresponder. That was $55 uh, for that. Skype, I pay 10 bucks a month for Skype so that I can do uh, three-way calling if I need to. Also, it gives me some other advantages that I have. It's just a minimal fee. I spent $25 experimenting with Facebook ads. Uh, I really, when I do Facebook for my interviews, I'm still not uh, using it to its advantage. I'm sure in the future, I'll be doing some better focused Facebook ads. But yeah, I put in 25 bucks for that. Odesk, $48. I outsource some of my Fiverr gigs. So I'll get into that in a minute. Last month I put out a course on how I'm making money on Fiverr. And I was able to uh, put that course out. And even last month I was getting so many orders on from my Fiverr gigs that I didn't have enough time to do them all. So what I did was I outsourced some of the work to uh, an outsourcer and they were able to help me out. I was still actually able to make money on these gigs even though I was outsourcing. So on the ones that I was outsourcing, I would pay them, uh, I think it was like $3 and I would make four, so I'd make a buck uh, for those. So it's, it's better if I do it myself, but I needed a little help over the holiday season. Uh, coaching program launch. I ended up buying a course by Sean Mize uh, about a coaching program as I want to get into putting out some kind of coaching or a, a product about how I'm doing all of this. I've, I've been getting a lot of emails from people asking me uh, about the whole doing reviews and doing interviews and building an income through affiliate uh, promotion and through your own product creation. And if there's enough interest from you all, um, I'm going to be launching something in the near future to help you out with that. Um, if you're interested in that, put a comment in the show notes below and tell me what you're what you're interested in me doing. Storm on demand. That's the hosting that I use. It's a bit expensive, but it's got an, a an option so that I can turn it up and turn it down when I need to. So when I'm if I have a month and I'm not launching a product. I can just uh, put it down to a lower uh, cost, lower costing uh, plan. And if I'm launching a product, I can put it up. GoDaddy 867. I believe I renewed Mikeformain.com. I think that's where that came from. Uh, it was just a, a domain that I bought. Perfect audience. Now that's something that's pretty cool. That's uh, where I do retargeting for the my products that I sell. A lot of you might have seen my little face coming up here with my thumbs up on your Facebook wall with me saying, uh, have you checked out my Fiverr Secrets product yet? So what I would do there is I was targeting anyone that had visited mikeformain.com uh, or um, my sales page, which is also on mikeformain.com. So anyone that had been uh, coming to my site that knew who I was, I was letting them know that that product was available. I spent 123.70 on it. Uh, I did a little bit of experimentation. So uh, sometime there were some weeks where I was paying a little bit too much, but still it ended up paying uh, for more than uh, definitely more than I. It ended up paying me. The, the profits were more than I ended up ended up paying here. JVZoo fees. 
when you sell a product on JBZoo, you're going to pay out a commission every time someone's, someone buys. So you're, you're going to pay them for the ability to process it through their, through their system. So that's the money I paid out to them. And solo ads. Solo ads. I bought $1,312 worth of solo ads. And you can see on my solo ad directory, I haven't finished all of it up yet. I'm going to do that hopefully today. Um, you can see here where I've, I've bought the solo ads and I've posted my results here. Uh, if we look at November, I've got all those all, that was all finished up, showing you how many subscribers I'd added and how much it cost me per subscriber. Um, I'm still enjoying the, the solo ad buying. I'm thinking it's helping to build my list. The problem is when you build a list through solo ads, a lot of the times these people that will join are so used to getting uh, crap offer after crap offer of MLM, uh, Empower Network kind of offers that are just trying to make money from them, not really trying to help them out. Uh, so that, or they're used to just getting free offer after free offer or uh, squeeze page after squeeze page that the value of the subscriber goes down. Uh, a lot of people will say that they're not actually buyers, that they're not actually going to buy uh, your products and services and that they're just looking for freebies. People call them freebie seekers. Now, of course, I'm going to get a lot of those on my list through that. But my thinking is that we're all freebie seekers once in a while. If I can get something for free, I'm going to I'm going to want it for free. That makes sense. Um, it, but it takes something that's really valuable. It takes someone that you can trust. And I'm hoping that from people coming to my list through these solo ads, that they'll understand that I'm not just trying to make money from them, that I am trying to provide them with value and with some sort of direction in how they can make money online. And that's something that I'm hoping I can make myself stand out from the crowd by doing that. Uh, I, ho I hope you feel that way about me as well. Uh, so let's go down here. So, so far we've covered, covered my expenses and the statistics up there. My total expenses for uh, December were $1,896.14. Now, if I hadn't done the solo ads, that would have been way down. But of course, I'm, I'm trying to build my business. Um, that was, I spent more in December, 643.04 more in December than I had spent in November. So quite, quite a bit more spent. Revenue. All of these are the different products that we talked about in the interviews and how much I made from them from affiliate commissions. And you can also see if I did a review of the product, I have a link there and also a link to an interview if I also did an interview. My best promotion for the month was with AdSense Avalanche, uh, a product about uh, AdSense keywords that uh, keywords that you can use that will have high paying amounts on AdSense. Uh, that, did, that made me $542 from uh, the review that I did and from the interview that I did with Ron. Um, that's a good promotion. That's for me one of the best uh, of the year uh, as far as how much money I made from a single interview or, or review together. Um, Media by Academy, I actually sold two copies. Uh, there was $144 commission each, but someone refunded. So I, I just got that a couple days ago. That, that's always fun to, to wake up and find out that you've, you're already down $144 for the day. Um, funnel kit, I did about $246 with that as well. And you can see down here, I'm not going to go through every one, but you can see the, it ranges from 542 down to, uh, these ones were from some older interviews, but I did an interview with David Taylor about uh, AW Automate, and only one person bought it. So not everyone's going to buy uh, every everything that I talk about on the show. And to be honest, that's fine with me. Uh, I know that... Uh, it's my job to find good products and good interviews for my audience. And in things like this just tell me, okay, people aren't that interested in, in this kind of a product. Um, another thing that I did here was, let's see, what's another interview I did that month. These are from older interviews that come in month after month, which is one of the beauties of having a blog 
is that these just these stay up forever. As long as the product is open, you can still continue to make affiliate commission from it. So one of the interviews, that's these are all most of these are old ones. Couch potato profits. That's one an interview that I did with Duncan Dennis. Um, it was around Christmas time, I believe, and it made thirty five twenty four. Uh, it's not the the best promotion for me, but still it it still brought in some money and. Uh, also, at the same time, I connected with Duncan. So Duncan and I, and I, I can send a message to Duncan and he's gonna know who I am and it's gonna build a relationship, which is one of the most important parts of the whole business model that I have here. So from doing interviews, I made a total of 2,247.92 for the month just from doing interviews. And from other and that's uh, an increase of 293.66 from November. Uh, and that's a lot of that's from that those interviews that I did with Ron Rule. So this is this section is other streams of income. Fiverr Secrets. That's a product that I put out in uh, I think I put it out in November actually, and it's a no I think I put, no, I put it out last month. It was a uh, course where I show exactly how. I made uh, 400 and, what was the number, 484, I think. Uh, also, yeah, 484, approximately 484. It might have been more, actually, uh, from Fiverr in, in the previous month. And the way that that really was a, a great product and a really a good success because it was able to show my audience that I'm actually doing uh, doing this stuff as well. I'm actually out there trying these different methods and trying to find different ways of making money online. And when I do find it, I try to bring it back, bring it back to my, to my audience so that you guys can also understand uh, how I'm doing that. One thing I did with that is I priced it really low when I launched it. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to give something back to everyone that's been following me and give them the opportunity to uh, get in on it at a at a cheaper level. Uh, that's still for sale. I raised the price a little bit. It's at nine ninety seven now, which is still really cheap. Uh, I'll be launching that as a full JV launch uh, in a month or two to uh, other people. I'm not sure what the price is going to be. It's going to be anywhere between. It's going to be around nine ninety seven, maybe a little higher. I'm not sure, but that was if we look over in. In here, you can see that what I what I ended up doing when I launched it, the the conversion rate. You can see it right here. We can see the product, the amount of visitors that have seen it, how many people have bought it, the conversion rate for the sales page, the amount of value per person that's visited that page, and the amount of money per sale. Uh, so you can see all these figures here. This number got inflated because I sent a lot of solo ad traffic to it. So that solo ad traffic actually brought down my conversion numbers. My conversion numbers were up at 20% uh, for this during that uh, internal launch that I did. But um, you can see here I also had some money coming in from Quick and Easy Cash Blueprint, another product that I have out. Uh, and uh, I sold a couple copies of Product Launch Confessions, but that's 100% commissions to my affiliates, so they got all of that. Let's go back over, and you can see those right here. Uh, this is a product that I uh, created based on the method that Vinny uh, Boccolino had created at Simple Novice Profits, which is still a product I recommend. Uh, Kindle earnings, I think I made like four bucks. If we look here at my different ones, it's like eight, twelve from here to here. Like, I just thought I'd throw it in there to kind of give you an idea. It's not not that much. Text link ads. This is an ad link network where you can put ads on, you can sell ads on your websites. I have a website from way back that I have some ads sold on that brings me about 20 bucks a month. It's, I guess that would be true passive income. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty much 20 bucks without doing anything every month. Uh, whoosh traffic, this is a keyword tracker and I believe the Empire Flippers bought through my affiliate link. Uh, Justin Cook and Joe Magnotti over there are using this tool uh, for their uh, keyword tracking. So I, I get that every month. Social Ladder, that's another uh, tool that I promoted way back. 
and uh, it used to be higher, but as over time with any kind of subscription program, the amount of uh, people are gonna are gonna are gonna cancel their accounts. So it's 560 I included in my income report. Fiverr gigs. Let's open up my Fiverr. Uh, last month I did another. Uh, I did four hundred and twenty-eight dollars doing gigs or selling gigs on Fiverr. So that has nothing to do with MikeFermain.com. That's with me actually uh, doing it myself. I've earned a total of nine hundred ninety-six dollars uh, doing all this. Well, I've got some money available, and uh, as you can see, I've it's January eighth now. I've got money coming in all the time. So that's something that is just another side income and it's something that all of you can do, really, all of you can do. I, I just sent a free copy, of course, a free copy to my mother. I'm, I'm gonna charge my mom. I sent a, a copy to my mom because she was trying to figure out, she wanted to earn a little bit of extra money. Uh, it, it's that degree of a product where I can send it to my mom and, uh, and, and feel like that sh she can understand it. Now my mom's gonna get some private training where I'm gonna show her uh, a little bit more advanced and in detail, but it's it's at that level where really anyone can do it. Enough promoting my, my Fiverr uh, gig. The total other income that I made this month was $1,468.09, and that was up 382.56 from November. A uh, big reason for that is because I launched a product. Um, I wouldn't expect that for next month. So, uh, total revenue from my interviews and from my other income was 3716.01, which is up 676.22 from November. That's a good month for me. That's that's uh, higher than I'm that I'm normally making right now, but it's it's a direction that I'm really happy that I'm going in. Uh, and hopefully my my goal is to be able to bring this back to you and be able to help you get the same kind of results that I'm getting. That's what I want. And I know that if I can help you, that uh, you will love me for life, as I've been a fan of anyone else out there that's been able to help me. Total profit for the month, if you take that number and you subtract the uh, expenses from it, which is a very important part, uh, if, you ex if you do that, you'll get a total profit of 1819.87 for the month. So that's what I'm uh, taking from that. Um, it's it's okay. I wish it was higher. Of course, I wish it was higher. I always wish it was higher. The if I hadn't spent so much money on solo ads, of course, it would have been a thousand three hundred twelve around there, higher. My plans for January and so far in January, I haven't been buying any solo ads. Why? Because I'm trying to take the investments that I've made and bring my uh, my profits as a whole up. So I just want to take a couple of months and really uh, cash in on the investments that I've made in my business. Um, other than that, everything is just uh, business as usual. Uh, one thing I'll say that is in the end of December, uh, the, in December, this is kind of interesting, there was pretty much three months of, of business going on because the last week everyone's on uh, or most not everyone most people are on holiday Christmas vacation and then you've got New Year's so all this uh, internet marketing product launching all of this really didn't start up again until this week um, and it, it's just started to get back into it now so last month it was really just three weeks of, of work and of uh, income and, and expenditures going in or, or income so I'm, with that being said, I'm really, really happy about my results for uh, December. Um, other things going on off the top of my head, I'm currently in the process, as I always am, of, of launching uh, products. I'm working with someone right now on launching a, uh, a product uh, about doing some kind of arbitrage which is like selling something somewhere and then, or buying something somewhere and selling it somewhere else. That's something that really interests me. I'm working on launching my Fiverr product in the JV area and having JV's mail for it as well. And yeah, just, just plugging away at my business. But I just wanna say thank you 
especially if you've gotten it this far, gotten this far in this video. Thank you so much for, for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. I couldn't do it without any of you all. Um, again, please comment in the show notes below. I love hearing from you. Uh, I will respond to every single comment that I get, and uh, I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.